We're here at the 2014 Justice Conference Asia, and next to me is Patsy Ho, who is a human rights lawyer here in Hong Kong, and she's been sharing about the asylum seeker situation here in Hong Kong, which a lot of people may not be aware of. So why are there asylum seekers here in Hong Kong, and how did they end up here? Why did they come here? Okay, well, um, a surprising thing about um, refugees here is that actually they come from so far away, they come from everywhere. So we've got a lot of asylum seekers in Hong Kong from Sri Lanka, from a lot of African countries, Somalia, the Congos, um, um, Togo, um, and even, um, so I mean obviously lots from India, Bangladesh, and the obvious reason for most of them is that if they don't come, they might die in their countries. Um, usually for reasons of religious persecution or the maybe political rivalry, um, and some of them um, very high level um, issues as well in their countries. Um, yeah. Okay. And so when they get here, what is the situation that they're that they're faced with uh, to, to stay in Hong Kong? Well, Hong Kong um, is a place that really does not welcome them at all. I mean, this is probably the case for a lot of countries around the world. But in Hong Kong in particular, there's, um, the system that, that the government runs to assess refugees is quite undeveloped. It's only been developed um, more in recent years. Um, and uh, even though there is a system, there is um, very much a culture of rejection. So the people who assess refugees, for example, are usually immigration officers who are trained to um, um, or, or have a mindset of wanting to remove um, illegal immigrants from Hong Kong. So from a government standpoint, a lot of them are just viewed as illegal immigrants. And um, the propaganda around town as well is also that a lot of them are viewed as um, locusts, gold diggers, um, people, economic migrants. Um, it comes from you know um, a point of of a place where maybe it's just ignorance, not knowing that refugees actually have genuine um, fears against you know, to their lives. They basically are not allowed to work, they're not allowed to um, study, they're not allowed to um, travel around just because they don't have a lot of financial support. Um, so a lot of times um, what most people do is just sit at home because they can't go anywhere else, they're not allowed to do anything. They can't even do voluntary work. Um, and they can't even technically attend um, English classes and so on. Wow, that's incredible. So why is it then that uh, here in Hong Kong that all of the, we have so many, thousands of, of these asylum seekers that are just completely unassessed by the government? Why are they being ignored? Well, I think it may be just an attitude of wanting to sweep the problem under the carpet. Um, you know, at the end of the day, um, it seems a big problem, but there really only is about 5, 000, uh, five to 6,000 asylum seekers here. Um, and the government just, you know, instead of proactively designing pro policies again, uh, to, to, to deal with um, the situation, maybe to assess them fairly, um, they just want to do the minimum that they have to at any given time. And um, you know, that basically leaves a lot of them unassessed. Um, um, yeah, I mean, there are improvements lately, so a lot of them are slowly being assessed. So I, I do hope that the situation would change soon. Right. And you've done certainly a lot of good work and made a lot of progress. So thank you for your efforts here in Hong Kong to do that. And thank you for being at the Justice Conference today. Thank you.